Have you seen Joseph, the Hebrew child? No, I haven't seen him. You were bringing him. But when I looked back, he wasn't there. Why do you want him? Fale told me to watch him. If he isn't found, I'll be punished severely. You tried to run away? <laughs> How dare you try to run away? <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you so upset? I feel that someone is hurting my darling Joseph. Tell me what's wrong. Joseph isn't well, Leah. Joseph is not well. You will never run away again! Your owner said you would run away. I'll break your legs so that you cannot run. You will not run away from me again. No! 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 My arm! My arm! What's the matter? Calm down, will you? I don't know what happened. My arm suddenly began to hurt. Such pain is not without reason. Either you lifted something heavy, you hit something, or a snake has bitten it. I noticed the slave child had disappeared. When I realized, I searched for him. Ah, and I found him at that grave. He was hiding from me. When I slapped him, my arm paralyzed suddenly. Uh, oh. It paralyzed when you hit him? Uh, yes. Uh. Can the poor child bear oh. your slap? Did you not realize his god would take revenge? Idiot! We're taking him for sale. How can we sell him if he is damaged? Why did you run? I didn't. It is my mother's grave. I wanted to say goodbye. The slave's tomb has no sign, let alone a shrine. This is no slave's tomb. Who are you, Joseph? Was his slap hard? Do you know what I ought to have done to him if you had run away? The reason that he slapped you was in fear of his own punishment. Do you hate him now? I was taught not to hate. I believe you. If you will forgive him, I will untie your binds. Will he hit me again? I swear to Abraham's God, I will not allow anyone to hit you again. Are you a monotheist? I'm Malak, son of Zah, son of Anka, son of Ishmael. Son of Abraham, a great-grandson of Ishmael. Who are you? I'm the son of... The son of... The son of the well. You don't want to reveal your father's name. I am the son of the well. I was born yesterday in the well that you saw when the courier of God appeared. 
I do not understand what you are saying. It is no problem if you do not want to tell me. But forgive him. All right. I forgive him. Bravo, son. Bid your mother's tomb farewell so we can set off. Get moving, everyone. Prepare to leave. Find Joseph? Is he lost, Father? Why are you wounded? As of now, there shall be neither blessing nor affection amongst the children of Israel. Not a long time has passed, but the wolves that attack Joseph are now attacking each other. Levi, I left Joseph in your care. I wouldn't have sent him to the plains had you not been there. Why did you not look after him? What has happened to Joseph? What have you done to him? Answer me! Answer me! May God's curse be upon you! Where is Joseph? Talk! Answer me now! What did you do to Joseph? Leah, stop it. What did you do to him? I said stop. My Joseph. My Joseph. Some things have come to my attention. I do not know if you have noticed them. If we had not lost our way in the storm, we would not have come this way. If our animals had not stopped at the well, we would not have stopped either. If we hadn't been thirsty, we would not have pulled water from the well. All those events were God's blessing so we could have this slave and profit greatly. What is destined to be yours will be yours. All the elements in this world work together. So you get what God has willed for you. On this trip, this Hebrew slave was meant to become ours. Help me, O oh, greatest star. Save me. This pain is too great. Save me, this pain is killing me. This pain is killing me. Save me, O oh great Ishtar. Save me, this fate is killing me. Save me, O oh great Ishtar. This fate is killing me. My arm, save me, Ishtar. Save me, O oh great Ishtar.
Save me, great Ishtar! What did you do? Your hands have healed me. I did nothing special. Everybody can do the same. With rubbing and pressure, the pain will lessen. Malik rubbed, but it was useless. You look to the sky. Are you a star worshipper? Hmm. Is the star that disappears during the day worth worshipping? So it isn't the moon. Or the sun that you worship. Because the moon disappears during the day and the sun during the night. My god is the creator. The one who created everything. The unique one god. Although you are a child, you seem to have chosen a better god than Kekmir and myself. A god that loves you and answers your prayers. Useless god. I suffered and moaned, and it did absolutely nothing. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you. <laughs> I was dying with pain, and you helped me. I apologize to you for slapping you. <laughs> Forgive me. It was a good one. If that slap causes your being guided, I am satisfied. I am from this region. I am a guide. I have always guided caravans. It seems this time you have become our guide. Guidance is in his hands. He guides whomever he wills and leaves in darkness whomever he wills. I don't know who this child is, but I witnessed him healing Ketmir's arm by praying. He has a good relation with his god. Maybe he is a prophet. He doesn't need to be a prophet to heal Ketmir's arm. I told you yesterday, if Joseph forgave him, he'd be healed. What about my dream? Everywhere he went, everything became lush and green. A dream proves nothing. You don't know the one God. He will punish you if you oppress anybody, either in this world or in the other world. If the oppressed forgives you, so too will God. It was once lush and green here. But this year, the lack of rain is a threat to the crops. I am from this area. If it doesn't rain, famine will kill everybody. God is benevolent and magnanimous to his servants. Malik, someone is unwell. Come with me. He has been ill for some time, but today he became worse. 
He is not well at all. He is breathing his last. There is no hope. What can we do? We can't leave him behind. Make him a litter and tie it to one of the beasts of burden. He'll follow the caravan that way. You will be all right. Life and death are in God's hand. soon. You must go. You must go. I'll stay with you. You will be all right. Life and death are in God's hands. Don't lose hope. staying with him you didn't listen to me I cannot leave him alone let me stay with him please his illness is grave you cannot do anything God likes those who help others don't worry about me keep your eye on him I'm fine. <laughs> you did this? Me? The way you healed Kekmir's off. God healed him. I just prayed. Malak! Malak, the sick man is all right! Why did you insist on being beside him? I'm a guide, like you. A good guide will take all people healthy to their destination.
What's the matter? Joseph told me to get up and walk and for a while. And I did, and he asked me. You can see I, I'm all right. <laughs> Are you healed? Yeah, I owe my life to Joseph. If he hadn't looked after me, I would have died. All people can do a little caring for each other. I did nothing. He was dying. It was hopeless. I don't know what kind of a god your god is. But I can say that he is almighty, and that he loves you. I saw you praying for me, and that is what healed me. Suspiciousness. The Egyptian border is over there. It is half a day away. We will soon reach the border guards. We haven't met any border guards so far. Syria, Canaan, Hejaz, and other countries have a feudal rule. They don't have clear borders. But Egypt is civilized. It has an advanced system to find borders, army, and a government. The pharaohs of Egypt are the most powerful rulers. O oh Lord, I submit myself to your will in this foreign country and seek help from you. Egyptian border. Lord, I 
submit myself to your will. I have nobody but you in this strange land. know you? Yes, they do. We have been trading with Egypt for years. Egypt is an ancient and civilized country. It's very different from Syria and Canaan. They were wearing strange clothing. Yes, their headbands make them look like cobras. Here is known as the land of snakes. Egyptians believe that a giant dragon snake protects their country. have cattle and sheep, but not so many. They must be very rich. All the animals and green farms belong either to Amon and the temples of Egypt, or to the Egyptian pharaoh, Amenhotep. All Egyptians work for them. They have nothing of their own. You mean Egypt's god has cattle and sheep? Everything belongs to God. God has created everything, but not for himself. Why are there so many cats here? The god of the people here is a cat. That is the town temple. The town is Babastis. The people love cats. Why do you look at me like that? I don't worship cats. Not all gods are unique and faultless like your god. Excellency Malik, the god of these people is a cat, and cats eat. Don't be surprised. The gods of this land have cattle, land, and family too. <laughs> <laughs> There's no monotheism in Egypt? Not at all. So be careful not to talk about monotheism or insult the Egyptian gods. Be very careful. 
The people will not tolerate it. a big river. Is it the Nile? It is only a small branch of the Nile. The Nile is much bigger and more impressive. people have everything from the Nile. Without it, there'd be no Egypt. No one has ever seen the source of the Nile. They say only gods can go to the fountainhead of the Nile. This river flows from the south to the north and empties into the Mediterranean. We are moving from the north to the south, to the old city of Thebes, the city of Amor. On the other side of the Nile, it is the Western world, the world of the dead. Those gigantic pyramids are the tombs of the Egyptian pharaohs. They call this place Memphis, where the Nile divides into many branches. If we were to sell Joseph to a wealthy Egyptian, Joseph will have a peaceful and happy life, and we will profit greatly. I wish we could keep him. We cannot. are heading south. Over there on the right is still the western world of the dead. That ship carries corpses. On this side of the Nile where we are, the ancient city of Thebes is located. Thebes is the city of the Egyptian gods and the seat of the government of Amenhotep, the pharaoh of Egypt. They call Thebes the city of Amon too. Look, you can see Thebes in the distance. Here is Thebes, the city of a hundred gates. A hundred gates? It has only ten. But the travelers who visit Thebes call it the city of a hundred gates when they return. Malek, son of Zar, from Babylon.
What is wrong? Why do you not sleep? I fear you might run away. Who are you? What are you? I have answered that already. Joseph. My gods are weak and incapable compared to your god. Will you tell me about your god? Your god is omnipresent. And he is accessible. I've seen you communicating with him. And he hears you and answers your prayers. I am certain that you are different from other people. You have a power that enables you to do anything. Anything that my God wills. Who is your God that protects you everywhere? You have described him well. I want to convert. You already have. You have converted in your heart. I believe in him. You called my God the omnipresent. You consider him omnipotent. You think he hears all calls and answers all prayers. You call your gods weak and incapable. That is faith. You mean, I'm now a monotheist like you? You became a monotheist the night Ketmir's arm was healed. I realized it from your questions. Who are you? Why don't you talk? You look like a slave, but you are really superior to us all. My God, tell me, you... Shh. Do not swear, because I am not permitted to say it. I only tell you that all these events happen by the will of God, and he has brought Joseph to Egypt for a sacred reason. What reason? At least tell me that. I don't know. It'll be known in future. I won't let Malik sell you. I'll stop him. God is aware of everything. If he wills that I'll be a slave, then I submit. Go now. Sleep and don't worry about my slavery. You still won't reveal your father's name. I told you, I am the son of the well. The same well we took you out of. Don't worry, don't. I'll find out in the end. 